Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Hello, my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Cancer. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do, Cancer, because that is how I keep up with you guys is through the comments, of course. As well, Cancer, if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it, Cancer, when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. Uh, and before we get into this reading today, Cancer, I just want to remind you to use your intuition when it comes to my readings. Because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. I believe my cards here are just meant to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, but never making the decision in your life, Cancer, because it is your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. But uh, with all that being said, let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Cancer. Uh, I pulled some cards to see where it is you guys are currently at right now. And so the cards I pulled for you uh, are the Eight of Fire or the Eight of Wands in normal tarot. The Dreamer card, Archangel uh, Metatron, number zero in numerology. Um, and it's the Fool as well in a normal tarot realm. So I will say, Cancer, if you are open, I feel like Archangel Metatron stepped up for you guys last week as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, Cancer. Uh, but if you're open to working with Archangels, Archangel Metatron is calling out to you. You know, I don't, if your belief system subscribes to it, honey, right? I don't, whatever you do, whatever your practices are, it's none of my business. I just give you your options. Uh, you also have the Emperor card, Archangel Michael, uh, number four coming in for you. So write that down for numerology, Cancer. The same thing goes with just like Metatron, honey. Same thing with Archangel Michael. And then we have the King of Fire or the King of Wands coming in for you. So, Pisces, overall, it seems like you guys are ready to take the initiative. I don't know if quite yet you know what it is you want to do. It's showing to me here just like a general look at things. It's showing to me of a Cancer that's like ready to change their life for the better, ready to go forward with things. There's a lot of intention on going forward, a lot of intention on just doing like what like, you know, just living life. But I don't know if there's any sense of direction for you guys yet. I know we have that King of Fire coming in here, but you have it with the Eight of Wands and that Fool card. It's, so you may have like a general idea of being like, all right, I want to do something creative for a living, but it doesn't feel as if like you know how to take it much further past that cancer is what I'm feeling. So how do we even want these cards to be right now? I'm going to put this one here, this one here, this one here, and then this one here. Don't mind me, Cancer. I like to view Terra as like a puzzle. So, we're gonna get into your dreamer card first, Cancer. This card says, a leap of faith, following your dreams and unexpected opportunities. So, you know, I feel like this something probably uh, randomly happened. I say randomly, but kind of like unexpectedly happened in your life recently, Cancer, that has caused you to be put into this state. Whether that was a good thing or that was a bad thing, honey, that's for you to tell me, right? It's, you know, it could be either or. But something kind of is like, has like put lit a fire under you that has inspired you to really be like, all right, I need to make a change of some sort. I need to just do something. I need to just go forward in some way, somehow, in whatever way that looks like uh, for you, Cancer. And so it feels like that's what your priority was and has been now. So let's pull some cards now. I don't know what this is. Let's pull some cards and see what's going on here a little bit more. Maybe just pull them? Mm -hmm. So just what I'm seeing from the cards. All right. Hold on, Cancer. Let me just get these situated for you. All right. 
So the clarifiers we have for the Dreamer card, we have the Two of Swords, the Hierophant card, yeah, the Hier Hierophant, <laughs> the Lover's card, as well as the Eight of Cups, Cancer. So some of you guys are really make like, you, it's like, feels like Cancer is like single, and ready to mingle right now. This card wanted to come out as well, Two of Pentacles. It's, yeah, you, Cancer, are searching for purpose. You're searching for purpose. You're searching for something that's a little bit more long, that serves to be more long-term in your life, whether that's a relationship or whether that's just, like, signing some type of contract or, or just, like, working a job that can take, like, the something that you can see yourself doing for the long run. It just seems like now you're in this place of really thinking about your long term, really starting to have interest in investing in yourself, um, even Pisces, Pisces, Cancer. So how would we break this down though? With this Eight of Cups here, um, it does show to me the sense of Cancer, you're still kind of like waiting to pull the trigger, almost. So it's like, is very very much so getting the sense of where it's just like uh where it's like oh next week next monday i'll correct my diet next week i will next month honey that's when i'll start working out next whatever is when i will actually say what's on my mind and reach out to that person right you're putting like some type of barrier before you walk away from it right and i see you moving on from it now i see you making the choice well, trying to, right? Because you have the two, these two uh, twos here, the two of pentacles and the two of swords, uh, cancer. These two really signify uh, crossing the roads. So if this is why, like really honing in, remember what I was saying before, uh, cancer, where it feels like you have the intention or, yeah, you have the intention, you really want to go forward, but you don't really quite know what direction to take it in because you're at this fork in the road. Um, this, the lover's card, I just was calling this the higher, this is the high priestess. Um, the lover's card with the high priestess, though, it's like, for some of you cancers, I don't know if you're like really considering like reaching back out to someone is what I'm hearing. But like, maybe like there's like something in your head of where you're just like, oh no, like they're probably just like over it, like done, like, I don't know. Yeah, it feels like there's a situation that you maybe not don't have quite so much closure on cancer um or that you don't want to be closed off uh anymore and you kind of want to just like go back to it but right there's some level of like craving of intimacy to it right um because this eight of cups can definitely give me this vibe of unfinished business and so with this two pentacles here and this two swords you're not quite sure what to do with the situation, right? You're not sure what part you can do or like what the next step would be for you to do to progress, right? Whether it does involve that person or not, or that situation or not, you're just not sure what to do. Uh, and then you have your Eight of Fire here, or the Eight of Wands. This card says events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things are happening at once. So with this card, uh, cancer, this is where you're picking up things and just seeing how it feels, seeing how it fits in your hand and just all of that, seeing if it vibes with you, essentially, Cancer. And so with this, this lets me know where you're just like, you're ready to try anything. You're ready to uh, do what it is that you need to do to make it work or to just, at the very least, identify like what your next step is going to be, for you, identifying your next correct move cancer so let's see if we can get any insight on this let's see all right so the cards we got for you cancer for the eight of fire or the eight of wands is the ace of cups with the four of wands and then the king of pentacles or the king of coins so yeah this to me Definitely, Cancer. Is this like a situation that's from like the past? 
the judgment card, whatever this is, Cancer, like whatever this situation is that I'm honing in on, you, there's like such this level of like your heart's in your throat with this situation like you like you care so much about this situation but you don't know what it's about right you don't know where you stand with it you don't know how it's going to pan out right because you have the moon card coming in as well you like you really associate this with a lot of stability a lot of happiness right like your your heart flutters at the idea of this working out right but you care so much about like that's the thing it's just like the balls in their court it feels like oh almost right i don't want to say the balls in their court cancer but because like everything just feels so up in the air for you or where it's just like you don't know where you stand or like where the situation stands or anything like this um it's kind of just at this freeze again yeah you're just at this crossroads right because you have the star card and the moon card coming out here you really want this but the journey to it just feels so unknown the details of it feel so unknown so then you're just at this place cancer where you're just like how do i handle this what is the proper wand to pick up to go out on this journey page of cups here is like a card of where you want to deepen something or just even start anew with something that's been old that's old rekindle something that's old and start anew with a fresh start it's interesting then we have the King of Fire coming in for you. This card says, focus, 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 communicate with the vision, uh, advice from someone creative. So, you know, this is a card. I mean, if you're searching for insight, right, on not knowing how to do a situation, reach out, right? You are being asked to uh, work together. Like, I don't want to say work together, but, you know, just in a sense, cancer of um, getting other perspectives included, right, to assist you on this or to have you have a, allow you to have a better understanding on the situation itself let's see <clears throat> so now the cards we have I'm, i was pull, i don't think i ever even said it cancer i was pulling clarifiers for your king of fire or your king of wands so now we have the two of cups uh the fool card coming in following you uh, and the Queen of Cups. <laughs> yeah, Cancer, like whatever the situation is, like you're being kind of just called to diving head first into the situation and just uh, pouring your heart out to it or just like letting go and letting God, right? As that fool, you kind of, this is a card of like releasing your inhibitions, right? If you've been having some reservations on something, some insecurities and just being like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to say that because of whatever the potentials, the what is, what is, right? Of that moon, the, that moon card that we were talking about, right? If you really want this, go out and do it. This two of cups here, um, I'm not going to promise like a happy outcome for all of you, Cancer, because that's just not realistic, right? I'm not going to promise a happy fairy tale for all of you guys, but this seems to be the correct path forward, right? Two of Cups comes in with the Queen of Cups, uh, where it's asking you to have a more open heart, really pushing the message, um, Cancer, of opening your heart up to it and treating, you know, the Queen of Cups is that tendered love to outside sources. Um, and that makes you feel good by having, by you doing your part, right? By you being like the adult in the situation, it has you feeling good from it. And then we have the Emperor card, Archangel Michael. This card says organization and logic, structure and discipline and leadership. So yeah, this is a card of where it's like, whatever this situation is before you, Cancer, once you identify it, once you, well, I feel like you already identified it, but once you uh, take action on it and go forward with it and do what you need to do, finish the unfinished business that you feel like you have with this situation, Cancer, then you have the Emperor card coming in here where you you get such a strong direction in life on what it is that you need to do next, right? Naturally with tarot, that doesn't give you any kind of hint at like how the situation pans out, right, for you, right? So you kind of have to still be the one to take action and check it out, right? But the very least, once you do check it out, you get the affirmation on like where it is you need to go in your life next. You're no longer left in this place of like um, this everything being up in the air being at this being stuck at this constant uh crossroads in your life uh cancer so i like this let's see what deck do you want to use for this one 
think we're gonna use I think we're gonna use this one. We're gonna use this one. Okay, that's gonna let's see here. Alright, yeah, the cards I pulled. The strength card, two of swords, with the page of pentacles. Yeah, this is what you identify. This is you no longer are at this crossroads because this is under your emperor energy. You will finally know what it is that you need to do for this crossroads and figure out for yourself, Cancer, on um, what you need to do next. Right? You just get, you're given a lot of sense of direction or a big sense of direction on what to do next or where to go next, um, Cancer. With this strength card coming in here like yeah this has been something that's probably been heavy weighing heavy on your heart for a while cancer um and it's just been like this very long process of you uh building up the strength building up the guts to do something to release those inhibitions to really take that leap of faith as the fool represents right page of pentacles the card of communication the card of a fresh start in terms of a new energetic exchange right i just feel like overall you know this could be just you overall identifying just the path you need to take next overall like if we if what was that weirdness if we were to summarize this reading uh for you cancer this is a reading that just talks about like finally building up the final bit of courage right eating that extra can of spinach uh cancer and really putting closure in a situation that I feel like has been weighing on you heavy for a while. And it's through you putting closure in the situation, right? With good intentions, right? You don't have to come in from a defeatist attitude. You can be like, can we just start fresh if it's including a person, right? Um, that's when I see you really getting a sense of direction is through conversation. So um, yeah, definitely let me know uh, how that conversation goes for you cancer but um i don't really feel drawn to pull any more cards for you cancer so uh, i think i might just close it off here if you enjoyed this tarot reading let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonated remember cancer uh be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and then also cancer i do uh weekly readings for all the zodiac signs not just yours so if you have a friend that's into tarot tarot or even if they are not uh cancer i would really appreciate it if you were to share my video with them and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well until next time cancer i love you so much